One of the problems of running OpenBSD on VirtualBox is that there is no multi-processor or multi-CPU supports for it, meaning that if you assign more than one processor to the virtual machine that you intend to install OpenBSD on it, similar to this configuration, somewhere during the installation process, you will get an error message like this, which basically says the fatal protection fault in supervisor mode. And to be able to successfully install OpenBSD on VirtualBox, your only option is to reduce the number of the CPU cores to single and then proceed with the installation process. However, running OpenBSD similar to any mother operating system on VirtualBox with a single core doesn't give you a very pleasant experience. To solve this problem, we have solution which is not very elegant but is doable and that is the topic of this video. So what you have to do, as I said, reduce the number of the CPU cores to single and then proceed with the installation. So I already did that and here I configured my uh, machine, my virtual machine to run with a multiple processor. This is after the installation process. So if here I try to type htop, you see OpenBSD still detects the, the virtual machine with the single core even after I increase the number of cores to three. So to solve this issue, we have to first of all do a reboot and do some modification during the booting process. So here we have to stop it, right? We shouldn't allow the boot process to continue. We gotta interrupt it. And then we have to type boot slash bsd.rd. And this one will actually give, uh, takes us to the environment when you do the upgrade, for example. We have an option to install upgrades or to install or go to the shell. We opt for upgrade, don't worry, nothing will be changed, you don't lose your file, nothing will happen. And here it's going to check the file system and afterwards force to force checking of the clean non-root file system. Sure, why not? And then it says where we want to get the basically the sets for upgrade. We say just from the internet, no proxy. This would be the path and the URL. And here we have to actually make sure the BSD MP, which is stands for multiprocessor, is selected. And then we press down. And afterwards, it will install the multiprocessor kernel for us. Because during the installation process, we had only one single CPU. OpenBSD didn't install the multiprocessor kernel for us, so it just only installed this one. And now we bumped the number of the CPUs in the virtual box settings, yet OpenBSD cannot detect it because it doesn't have the multiprocessor kernel here. We gotta actually go to the upgrade and then make sure this one is installed. So we are going to install it now and afterwards we should be good to go. So let's see. All right, the upgrade process is finished. Now we are going to type done. The virtual machine will be restarted. All right, the virtual machine is booting. And let's see whether the multiprocessor kernel is installed successfully or no. Okay, this is the first boot after the upgrade and if I type htop you can see we have three processor or three CPU cores is detected by the OpenBSC in virtual box and this is how we enable multiple processor or the CPU cores on virtual box for OpenBSC. That's all for this video make sure to press the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Have a great time cheers! I want to thank all of the amazing Patreon and Coffee supporters. Your generosity and support means the world to me and keeps me really motivated to continue creating content. Thanks again for your generosity and contribution.